Good day everyone and uh, welcome to my channel once again and uh, today actually I'll be taking you through the process of signing up for a Wobi account, right? So um, as you all know, uh, Wobi Exchange is one of the biggest global exchanges in the cryptocurrency space and one of the most reputable exchanges in the cryptocurrency space. So if you've been wondering how you can get yourself an account, today I'll be taking you through the process. So firstly, we, you can see here, um, there's different options. There's buy crypto, there's markets, sports trading, derivatives, finance, there's learn, and then there's also get um, $170 uh, bonus. So that is kind of a welcome bonus that you will get, but it also has a step-by-step -step process. So today we'll just start by um, signing up for a Warby account. So first uh, you click on sign up and as you can see, it, it asks you for your nationality first. So you have to key in your, your nationality. And then um, this is mainly the nationality is for your ID verification, which cannot be changed after registration. Please make sure it's correct. So please know that you cannot change your nationality um, after um, ID verification. You need to put in the, the, the correct um, nationality. So we start in by keying in your email address so okay i'm going to key in this email address right now and please note that this is purely for tutorial purposes right so um okay in the email address and it asks for a password please make sure that um you enter a very strong password to avoid people hacking into your account so let's say for example Right, so um, your password, it says it has to be 8 to 20 characters and it cannot be all numbers. I don't know why it's asking me for another, for a valid email because exactly. So anyway, let's, let's, let's go ahead and, and, and carry on with the registration process here. After I've keyed in my password, I will re-enter my password and... Okay, uh, so let's scroll down to finalize this. You can see here it's asking for an invitation code. So sometimes each one of you will get an invitation code um, once you register for an account. And you can share that link with your friends um, to sign up and you get some kind of incentive for doing that. So this is optional. You don't have to do that if you do not have um, an invitation code. So yeah, let's go to sign up. There we go. All right, so this is just kind of verifying uh, if you are not a robot, and yes, there we go. So, um what will be exchange does is that to confirm that the email address is valid you will get a verification code and so i'll just go to my inbox and check so here you, you can see i went to my inbox and i got my verification code and i'll go back there i got it. i hope i got it right because this code expires within a number of seconds so yeah sign up successful so here you can see once you sign up you're going to get a, a few options so it, the first one is grab a hundred and seventy dollars right that is kind of a welcome bonus to you or deposit crypto to your account so you get two options so which one do you go for first so definitely let's let's go for um, grab hundred and seventy dollars just to see what you need to do in order for you to to grab the $170 welcome bonus. So it says, get started, let's get started. So the first step you can see, these are a few basic tasks that you need to perform in order to get the welcome bonus. For those of you that are wondering how you get it. So the first one is verify your ID, right? So for ID verification, um, you can see here, this is 
what we call KYC. So this is kind of also how you do KYC um, on Wobi Exchange. So you start there, verify your ID. So this is what you'll be requested to do. So for ID verification, the types of identification uh, documents that are accepted is um, an ID card or a passport, if you do have a passport, and also please ensure that your ID is clear and clean and do not use black and white photos. And the second part of the ID verification after you've uploaded um, your document is the face recognition. Please make sure light is good when shooting with only you captured in a photo. So please do not have other people in the background and put please put your face in a circled area. So the facial recognition will take you to a, a circled area where you need to put in your face so that your face is captured um, correctly, right? So I will go to verify and please note that this is for tutorial purposes only. So I will not be uploading any form of ID because this is for tutorial purposes only and to maintain privacy, right? So to start the verification, this process is designed to verify your identity and protect you from identity theft. Please have your ID ready and click start. So this is the beginning of the KYC process. So we've clicked on start. So here you have to choose, okay, which is your choose issue in country or region. And why this is very important is that sometimes you might be based in another country and you're using a passport and your passport has been issued by your country of birth. So you need to choose here. You can choose whichever country. You can see here there's a drop down menu of the issuing country. Most of the countries that are supported by the Wobi Exchange will be listed here. And then you can choose um, your issuing country and then please select um, the type of ID. So use a valid government issued photo ID. It could be either your passport or your identity card. Uh, for those of you that are using identity cards. So for those of you using passports, for example, you can just click on passport. And here it's going to give you three options. So the first option is to go to your mobile app. If you do continue on mobile app, it's going to send a link, which is an instruction to how you're going to do your KYC or please take a photo using uh, the webcam. So this also gives you an option of taking the photo of your identity document with the webcam if you're using a laptop or you can upload um, a file from the device and this could be in form of a picture so you can upload the picture of your id uh, from this device so for example if i want to upload a picture i'll just go to upload picture and then it enables me to choose file upload a color image of the entire document and remember screenshots are not allowed so the format should be um, jpg jpeg or png format only if you're going to upload and then you go to choose file right so um today i'm going to end it here because i will not be uploading an identity document as i i'll let you guys know that this is for tutorial purposes only and hope this um was helpful thank you so much until next time